The advertiser quoted, and in a story about you, the advertiser quoted an anonymous, anonymous moderate liberal saying, the direction that the party in South Australia is now heading, thanks to you, Alex, could make it, quote, irrelevant in the wider electorate. In other words, the only option is to emulate Labor. Isn't that exactly what's been the wrong with the Liberals lately? Well, look, Fred, that hasn't worked too well over the last little period, let's be honest. And uh, the last state election would, would say exactly that. I, I, I think the first and foremost way you can find yourself uh, in electoral, electoral irrelevance, which is a mouthful, is to try to be like Mike, you know, try as the old Nike commercial used to go. You know, that, uh, no, nobody wants Labor light. Nobody wants the Greens light out of the Liberal Party. History shows that people vote Liberal when they've got something Liberal to aim at. I mean, that was the experience of the 2019 election, frankly. It was just, you know, then Prime Minister Morrison aimed squarely at middle Australia. And, and that's what the party always has been, this myth that's peddled by by the left that somehow the Liberal Party is the party of big business. Well, it, it isn't and should never be. Um, it's the party of middle Australia. And uh, the Liberal Party's got to be the Liberal Party. That's what we're building here in South Australia. And I, and I hope people hear this and I hope they want to get involved, Fred, because we'd love to have them if they share our values. Well said, Alex. Now, finally, quickly before you go, um, let's, talk, let's go offshore and talk about oil. There's possibly a huge abundance of oil and gas in the Great Australian Bight, which could create a lot of jobs and revive industry in South Australia. Norwegian oil company Equinor was on the verge of being granted approval to search for oil when it pulled out in 2020 because of a local and very embittered protest movement. What will it take, Alex, to encourage other resource companies to continue the vital search for oil off the uh, South Australian coast? Well, I think the first, the most important thing is for people to realise that when they're voting green, when they're talking green politics, they're, they're not really talking about environmental politics anymore. They're talking about Marxist politics, which wants to shut the world down. So I, I think, first and foremost, people have got to understand what the, the so-called green left movement is about. It's not about environmentalism. We're all environmentalists. None of us want to see the environment harmed. Um, and that's a classic example. We've got a, a regulatory framework, which, of course, covers off on all of these things. It's, it's the most stringent checks and balances for a project like that. And yet somehow the, the protest movement that was involved there had people believing that there would be oil rigs 100 metres offshore and all this sort of stuff. I mean, we were talking 300 kilometres offshore. Everything was tested. There were staged approvals, the whole lot. Um, and unfortunately, that, that small number of uh, protesters that were, were pushing on scared away what should be now a very important project in our uh, in our energy security future. And one of the great things that former President Donald Trump did was it guarantee the United States energy security and independence by getting these projects done. We need to be back in that in that space. And look, if there's oil in the bite and we've got the right regulatory process to protect the environment, we should be digging and drilling until the cows come home, Fred.